everyone, my name is Desiree Ford and welcome back to Storm Center. I hope you all got over your tummy aches from too much candy on Halloween. This year's Cuga College Haunted Halls was a great success and let's see what people had to say about each individual hall. Davis Hall haunted their lounge and kitchenette with hidden monsters and screaming teenagers. The Storm Apartments lost their RA leaving the spectators to search in the basement for him. Ball took people around the lounge and with scary beings jumping out of other furniture and corners. Bliley was escorted by two creepy little girls through their haunted home. And Saunders took the tour through the lounge where viewers were scared by overworked college students. And finally Space, the ultimate winner, included a tour downstairs and through the strobe lit laundry room with scary things lurking behind every corner. Good job everyone for making this year's haunted halls the best one yet. Now start saving room for turkey, because Thanksgiving will be here before we know it. Here at Storm Center, our heart goes out to all the victims of Hurricane Sandy, and we understand that this hit home for many of our students. Eric Detter has relief information available for any students impacted by this natural disaster. Um, hi, Cuca. Uh, my name is Eric Detter, and I am the college chaplain. Because of our, our student population, our student body, we have a lot of people that have been directly impacted by that, and we know people that know people. So this is certainly important to to our community. So to tell you some of the things that are happening, um, first, the uh, Multicultural Affairs Office is working with the, the Women's Center um, and working with them to collect funds uh, that can be donated to an organization that's directly working with with uh, an, an aid relief and and they will be collected at least through this week. You can see them in a in the Phillips Lounge. There's a there'll be a table there. Uh, you can make a donation there, or else you can um, drop money off at either the Women's Center or or I'm sorry, not the Women's Center at the Multicultural Affairs Office. Um, or else, if you wanted, you could you could bring it to my office and I'd make sure that it, it would get to uh, to that that fund. Uh, some people have asked about how do we write checks to that. If you write a check, write it to Cuca College and in the memo um, write you know hurricane relief or hurricane sandy relief. The other thing that we are doing is we have a we have a, a team of students on this campus that form the students helping students team. Um, this is a team that was developed a year ago uh, with the plan to with, with the goal be able to assist students going through major crisis, life-altering crisis, um, so certainly uh, Superstorm Sandy, Hurricane Sandy, um, has created some major life-altering experiences for some of the people in, on our campus community. So uh, this, is a, this is a group that is currently, students helping students, is currently trying to gather information about what students uh, are facing some, some, real, some real need. Um, you know, their homes have been destroyed, damaged, flooded, and, and you know, they're, they're working through that. Uh, if, if that's you or if you know somebody like that that's going through that, um, you can fill out a request referral form for assistance. Um, you can come, you can see any RD, if you're a student, you can see any RD, they have the forms, access to the forms. Um, so you can either fill that out as a referral for someone that you know, or else uh, if you are in need yourself, if you would like some assistance directly, um, and, that's, and it's your own request. Um, if you want to make a contribution towards the Students Helping Students Fund, that it's actually the Students in Crisis Fund that the Students Helping Students team manages, again, write a check to Kika College, and then in the memo, write um, Students in Crisis or Students Helping Students. The uh, an Another thing that is happening um, under, there's, a, there's a campus club called SIGS, stands for Spiritual Interest Groups. Uh, one of the groups is called Storm Response. Um, that's a group that likes to, uh, to try to do things to help people and did some flood relief cleanup. Uh, we will be working with that group to try to organize a team uh, of volunteers to go out and help with cleanup relief when it's appropriate. We've also been asked if um, you know, are we collecting blankets or creating any kind of kits or anything? And as of right now, we don't have that planned, but we are working on that. Um, those are the plans that we have right now. Um, we're grateful for how the campus uh, responded, you know, how um, people just respond so well here and there's a heart to help people. And uh, so 
as, as we become more aware of information, we will do our best to communicate that as, as well as we can. And uh, if you have any questions, you can email me, you know, edetter at cuca.edu, or stop by my office, or you can call uh, the office, it's extension 5378, if, if uh, you want to make a phone call. Okay, so uh, thanks for all of your support and for, for uh, the way that we continue to, to reach out to people. And as always, make sure you uh, care for and look out for one another. Thanks. And now over to Nadula and Claudia with Campus Events. Thank you, Desiree. International Education Week is from the 11th to the 17th of November. International Arts and Crafts Fair is in Phillips Lounge from November 12th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. You can sign up for the Red Cross Blood Drive in Phillips Lounge and that will be from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. the 12th to the 16th of November. We also have Henna Tattoos, which is part of the International Education Week and that will be um, the 14th of November, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And we also have Saunders Hall exclusive trip back to the kindergarten, which is hosted by Saunders RAs. The turkey trout will be held on Sunday the 13th, and on the 20th we leave for Thanksgiving break. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Okay, well, hello. Hi, Eva. Thank you for meeting with us today. Appreciate it. I was wondering if you can answer a few questions about your new position here in the Student Activities Office. Sure. Uh, first one be, what was it like coming into a position that does so much on campus? Um, it was wonderful to come in this position. Um, I, I still have a lot to learn. There's new things every day that get thrown my way, but um, it's fast paced and high energy and um, after just returning back from one of the conferences for student activities, I feel like I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of different options out there and I hope that we can find a lot of cool stuff to bring on campus. Definitely. Now you were admissions and events coordinator before this, correct? I was, yep. So how has that transition into this? Well, um, although the jobs are very different, um, mm -hmm. the types of events that you're planning are on two entirely different spectrums. Yeah. Um, it was a little easier for me since I was already a member of the CUCA community. Mm -hmm. So I knew a lot of the students, um, I knew a lot of the faculty and staff, and so that made it easier for me to collaborate with others, to ask questions, and to feel comfortable on campus. Wow, very busy. What's your favorite part of this job? <laughs> um, I'd have to say the students by far. Yeah. Um, I, I love having the interaction, I love making connections, being able to help students um, and really figure out what they want to see on campus. I always see students coming in and out of this office. Um, what's what's upcoming events? What's going on? Anything big? Yeah, well we have our semi-formal dance this mm -hmm. weekend um, and we actually had to add a couple tables because we sold out of all the t tickets that we wow. had. So um, we're excited about that. Um, Campus Activities Board does a fundraiser for um, Red Cross Blood Drive, which mm -hmm. we'll have on the 16th. Um, we're holding our uh, first Turkey Trot 5K on November 18th that we're collaborating with Campus Recreation on, so oh, we're excited wow. about that. Um, and there are a number of other things that will be happening throughout the semester, and we're already starting to plan for next semester. So there's a lot going on. Do you have a favorite event? <laughs> um, I guess the 5K it will hopefully turn out to be my favorite favorite event, at least it was my favorite event to plan. Mm -hmm. um, I really enjoy running and yeah. um, to find a fun theme uh, I think adds a lot to it. So Is the 5K happening right here on campus? It will be, yep. Oh, We're going to start it off the first year just opening it up to students, faculty, and staff mm -hmm. um, and free of cost for everyone. The first 75 participants who show up on race day get mm -hmm. a free t-shirt. We designed Turkey Trot t-shirts, so oh, cool. we're excited about that. Um, and then you know, we'll see what the turnout is. Already, I know we've had at least 75 people sign up, if not more. Wow. Um, so we're excited, and uh, then we'll see and maybe find some new themes for next semester and the following years. Great. Where are the proceeds going for that? We're not doing a fundraiser this year. Okay. Um, so that's what we figured. We just test the waters and see if students were interested, wanted to do 5Ks, and then we could add a fee to do, you know, for cancer or um, some other fundraiser idea. Well, you guys seem to have a busy year coming up here at CUCA. Thank you so much for meeting with us. Of course, I appreciate it. And back to you. <laughs> back to you, Desiree. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Desiree. Now over to Kyle and Greg with our CUCA Sports. Welcome back to Storm Center Sports. I'm Greg Starks, and this is my co-host, Kyle McGrath. Before we get into our fall recap show, we'd like to acknowledge the successful event of Storm Madness. 
Greg, I've never seen the weed look so colorful in everyone's highlighter yellow t-shirts. We'd like to say congratulations to all the winners of all the events that took place and a special thanks to all the performers of the step, dance, and cheer teams. Moving on to women's volleyball. Women's volleyball made it to the NEAC championship game by defeating Penn State Burks, coming from behind two sets to zero and winning three in a row to make it to the NEAC championship game. They lost the final to Gallaudet three games to zero. They finished with a record of 24 and eight, which is the most wins in a women's volleyball season ever. Moving on to women's volleyball NEAC selections. Junior Paige Golden was named to the first team for the second consecutive year. Also, junior Taylor Smith was named to the second team. Sophomore Devin Curtis was named to the third team for a second consecutive year also. And freshman Morgan Eberly was also named to the third team. Over to Cuca Soccer. The women's team advanced to the NEAC tournament but lost in the semifinals to Penn State Harrisburg 4-1. The women's soccer team ended the season with an 8-7 record, their 14th time that they have finished with a winning record. For their NEAC selection, senior Nicole Sherrick was selected to the first team, as well as junior Jessica Bandrowski. Jessica Bandrowski is also Cuga's Student Athlete of the Week. Also, junior Brooke Lavelle and sophomore Ashley Swartz were elected to third team NEAC honors. Over to men's soccer, they lost their final regular season game to SUNY IT 3-1 and lost their bid to go to the NEAC playoffs. For their NEAC selections, Senior Nate Smith and senior John Michella were both selected to the first team, and sophomore Austin Gerber was selected to the third team. On to Cuca College cross country. Sophomore Lee Batani led the charge once again, finishing with the fastest time for Cuca in the NEAC Invitational. This garnished him Male Athlete of the Week for the second time in three weeks. For more stats and statistics for Cuca Sports, check out cucastorm.com. Moving on to professional sports. In Major League Baseball, the San Francisco Giants won the World Series by defeating the Detroit Tigers four games to zero. The NBA tip-off has also begun as league play has started. In my ad, Kyle, the Los Angeles Lakers are looking very shaky, losing three games in a row. Good point, Greg. The NHL also remains in a lockout as they have canceled the Winter Classic. Sorry, hockey fans. Moving on to upcoming intramurals. Sign-up and league play will begin shortly for everyone's favorite intramural sport, dodgeball. Three-on-three -three men's and women's basketball will also begin. For Storm Center Sports, I'm Greg Starks with Kyle McGrath, and goes the dynamite. Thanks, Kyle and Greg, for that great information on sports. My name is Jeanette, and I'm one of the staff here at Storm Center. We had a wonderful opportunity earlier this week to interview one of our hosts. Here is that interview with Brittany and Desiree about the name change from Scythe to Ignactus. Hi, my name is Brittany Labour, and I'm here with Desiree Ford, and she's going to tell us a little bit more about the club she's involved with and the name change they're going through. So first, tell us a little bit more about the club and what you guys do. Okay, so my club was previously known as Scythe Around Campus, which stood for Students of Free Enterprise, and then we just, on September 28th, went through a name change to Enactus. Um, and Enactus stands for Entrepreneurs in Action for the Greater Good. The club itself has a, a business approach to everything we do, however it's also a community service base. So all the projects we do are helping better our campus, bettering our community, and just bettering everyone's lives around the area. Um, we usually do four to five projects a year. Um, this year we do have a few new projects. So Anactus is open to any major on campus, there's no um, restrictions as to who can join the club. Alright, well this club sounds like a lot of fun. Um, so can you tell us what exactly brought on the name change, like why you guys did it? Actually, we were warned back in last spring that there was going to be a name change. There was actually a few reasons as a factor to it. One was students in free enterprise was a little more complex and the name just focused basically on students. The organization, um, not just uh, nationally but internationally, is in 39 different countries and it wasn't just focusing on students, it's also academic leaders, our professors, um, other faculty members involved in this club. So segregating it and sectioning off to students in free enterprise just wasn't fair. So they said a name change needed to happen there. Also, Scythe and Actus is trying to branch out into more countries other than the 39 they're involved with. Um, the thing they were noticing is that Scythe in a different language, in some different languages, had a negative meaning. So we weren't able to um, expand into those countries with that name. So they went through 30,000 different options and finally came across Enactus. It's been over a year of planning and deliberating which ones to choose, but Enactus is here to stay. All right then. 
Well, what do you hope to expect from this year and the NACDIS and all the things you guys are doing? We expect success. Um, on March 21st, we head out to Baltimore for regional competition, and then we plan on advancing out to Kansas City on May 21st to the 23rd for nationals. Well, that's going to be exciting. Good luck for you guys. Thank you. Um, I also heard that you guys had a chicken and biscuit dinner recently. How did that go? It came out amazing. We actually made um, over double the profits we were expecting. It was a great turnout. A lot of uh, faculty, friends, students came out. Not only that, we also had the support from Dundee and Penyan. Locals there came out and supported our team. So it was a great turnout, and we thank you all for coming. Well, thank you, Desiree, for coming and talking to me. Thanks for having me. And um, now back to Storm Center. Thank you, everyone, for that great information about what's been going on on campus. Stay tuned for our next episode, and don't forget, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. Some things to remember for break. Lock up all your stuff, get rid of all that extra food in your fridge, and unplug everything. Storm Center wishes safe travels home for this upcoming holiday, especially to all those whose hometowns have been affected by Hurricane Sandy. Our hearts go out to you. See you all next time for Storm Center. Ugh. Now we're going to go in. Oh, snap. Like turn the floor over, floor over. Blah. Intermurals. In. Storm Center wishes. Oh, it's given to it, 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 oh, sorry. Let's see what everyone had to say about each year. Good job, everyone, for making the. Oh, you can sign up for the Red Cross Drive blood drive. Sorry. And the tip us if all. Oh, you were so perfect. And they are kitchen, kitchen monsters. We also have Han, um, Sandra's Hall exclusive. Trip back to the kids. Sorry. Leaving the spectators to search for the in the bit. Ugh. They're looking very shakily. Shaky. <laughs> <laughs>